Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having an amazing day and AJ here from Bicolai's online consultant again. And for today's video, actually it's going to be an interesting video because we are going to walk you through on how you can automate your account creation process, your um, client account creation process during your onboarding. It's going to save you a lot of time instead of going in there and selecting the snapshot and setting up the account itself. So instead, uh, we are gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do this with you so that you know what's the easy way of automating, automating the account creation process, okay? But before anything else, I would like to invite you to our free Facebook group, which you can find on the description box below. We are giving away free trainings and resources that can be able to help you and add value to your marketing process so if you can drop and say hi to the community that would be so awesome all right so first off make sure that you are logged into your account and we have to make sure that aside from your high level account you have your zap here you can actually use uh the free version of zap here because um we are not going to use the webhooks but instead like the high level to high level connection only so you can use the, the free version of this app here, okay? So what we're gonna do now is to make sure that you have, um, what I call this, a form created for your um, client onboarding, you know, you're gonna get their information in order for you to set up their account. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to marketing and create a form, okay? Create a new form. I'm going to do first name, last name. I'm just rename this form. Demo client form. Okay. You can name it whatever you want, but for demo purposes, I'm going to do this. Uh, phone, email, organization, address, city. Uh, state, not necessary, I guess. Postal code and website i think these are the important things that you need in order for you to uh, set up their account because um like these are the necessary fields even if you're doing it manually okay so once you're done just integrate the form and then grab that link as we are going to need that later i'm just going to replace it please now next would be um one option for you is to set up your onboarding or welcome email so the welcome email should include like uh the the login credentials that you're gonna set for your customers or your clients like normally what we do is that we have uh, a welcome email that is including their um login instructions so it's a step by step process in order for them to log into their crm which has their their emails and it's auto populated by custom values um, password we chose to um, set a default password so that you know it's going to be easier to troubleshoot if anything persists with their login um, attempt and so yeah that's it i highly suggest that you create your welcome email campaign and be able to set a trigger for that but anyways going through we are going to set the triggers so I'm going to add a trigger in client creation. Okay, client creation. And now for the trigger, it should trigger once a form is submitted. Add a filter, form is, and then the form that you have created, which is the demo client form. The actions would be add update opportunity, uh, select pipeline. So this is just a, a, a test account. So I'm going to use this pipeline and let's say once I move them to this stage which is the services sold they should have uh, an account created already on your high level account okay I'm going to use custom values for sorry contact dot name okay and then actually you can include the, the welcome email here as well Let's do that. Um, but since I don't have an email connected in here, so I'm gonna skip this part. But yeah, 
you can also create an automated trigger for this like whenever uh, your contact is moved to this specific lead stage which is the services sold they will I mean the system will send them an email their welcome email including their login credentials so instead of using the campaign you can do this as well so yeah it depends on you so you have to make sure that it is activated and then save so that once you um, test the trigger later on it will work and now we are going to go ahead and move to Zapier because we need Zap here. Okay. Go ahead and create the Zap. Choose high level. Choose an event, which is pipeline stage change. Um, I'm, I'm going to need the... Sorry, I have to do that because my recording buttons are there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the API key. I'm just going to connect a new account. Okay, so make sure that once you're pasting your API key, there's no like additional spaces or anything like that. So it will go through. In pipeline, you're going to choose the free solar code because that's your pipeline earlier and the service is sold. And then just test trigger, continue, and then still going to be high level, and then add account. Okay, choose the account, select snapshot sorry okay let's just use this the dentist one so first name last name just fill out all of this information user phone phone okay do you want to generate password automatically I would say no because we like to create our own default password okay. and that's why it's very important for you to send a welcome email so you can include the default password that you have created for them you know I uh, user type so of course you're just gonna add them in the account and admin or user it depends on you okay so we can skip this one Time zone, you can skip that. Address, I'm sorry. Some address. I need to remove this. Maybe. Country. So I'm going to choose Philippines because I'm in the Philippines. Uh, state, no need. Postal code, no need. Phone number, no need. Do you want to auto purchase number from Twilio? Um, it's up to you if you want to tag this true or false. But like in some instances, like for Australia, I don't think that you can be able to do so because you need to undergo their regulatory process, which is you need to submit a couple of documents first before you can be able to buy your phone number, okay, website. So if this are not tagged by then you can leave it back, I would say. I'm just going to choose false for this. I think I'm missing, oh, for the business name it's really required. So I'm just going to do first name and then last name. Okay. And for demo purposes, I'm going to add a demo name here so that I can easily locate them later on and then continue. Okay, just turn on the zap. Gotcha. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go to the form that we have created and let's do the test. 
Uh, let me just. No. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Then just submit. Okay. And now you have to search for the demo. And then, as we can see here, there is an account that is already created for me. Yay. <laughs> okay. You have to check that. So, since we loaded like a dentist snapshot so you can check that on the campaigns it auto loaded everything that you have for that snapshot so i would say that's how it should be and i tried to simplify it for you because i know that it should be as easy as this so again you don't need a paid zap your account to do this but there is actually another option to automate your account creation using webhooks and um for that you need to have the, the paid zap account but yeah if you're if you just wanted to use the free account this is the best way for you to do that and i hope you under, understood the process but if in any case that you have questions or um, clarifications or anything like that please feel free to comment down below and again we have our facebook group where you can join and ask questions and we'd be uh, we'd be happy to help you help you out and uh that's it for today and i hope you guys like this video and i'm gonna see you on the next one thank you guys for watching today's video and if you wanted to see more of this or if you have any specific go high level tutorial that you wanted us to cover just let us know in the comment and in the meantime if you can give us a like and if you can subscribe to our channel that would be so awesome and i'll see you in our next video that would be so awesome